Hello everybody and welcome back to Arcade Spirits. When we last left off, we were just about to meet up with some friends, so buckle up and I hope you guys enjoy the con. Oh, it's Teo, it's Teo. I feel the bumping of the bass reverberate through my shoes and I turn around. Airy! Teo sits down a colossal boombox at his feet. I recognize the music now, it's from Showtime Stage. And Teo is bumping his signature song. You hate sensory overload? Yeah. I motion for him to turn down the music and he complies. The last thing I need to do is lose my voice from shouting before I even get the chance to talk to anybody. Hey, hey! Sorry I'm late. I had some last minute dance moves I had to incorporate into the routine. No worries, I just got here myself. Despite Max's many attempts to trample me, I have survived thus far. Yeah, it looks like you are significantly non-trampled. Nicely done. Don't congratulate me yet. We still have the rest of the day to endure. What's with the boombox, by the way? Oh, this is for the Showtime stage gathering. There are going to be a couple hundred of us from all over the world. I didn't realize that there's Showtime, some Showtime stage communities in other countries. Absolutely. We're actually the second biggest community. The largest is in Japan. Several players flew all the way from Tokyo just to be part of our Showtime stage flash mob. Uh, uh, how did you uh, even arrange this? A flash mob is no small feat. I can't even begin to imagine the amount of time Tail put into this. Must have been hundreds of hours at least. Impressive. I really hope it turns out fantastic. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Me too. I've been planning this for months, and it's taken coordination from all the leaders of all the Showtime groups. There was a lot of work from all sides to make this come together. Now that all that's left is to actually do it. In fact, Ari, you should come watch it. Oh my gosh, Ashley looks amazing. Uh, whatever happened to Flash Mobs? I still say, I think they still do stuff sometimes. I was about to respond when a very elegantly dressed gentleman caught my eye. He wore a black proper tail coat with an ornate sigil pinned to his breast. Accompanying his suit, he had fashioned himself with right, white regal gloves. With a cloth draped over his arm, he held tightly onto an antique tea kettle. As he approached, the crowd prodded like waves from Moses. There were oohs and ahs from onlookers, and people pulled out their phones to get a quick picture of him. Like the rest of the crowd, I was taken aback at how immaculate this butler was. Absolute perfection. I felt like I had time warped back to the 1800s and about to have tea with royalty. He stepped up to me, and Teo gave us a slight bow. Oh, and Teo, and gave us a slight bow. Normally, this would be ridiculously out of place, but not in an arcade convention. He's a character from a hot fighting game called Melee Maidens. It's all about ninja maids and battle butlers duking it out for the right to serve a fancy party or something. Okay. Is fooling no one but 10 out of 10 for finding- I know, right? She must have, like, cut her own hair, maybe. For the matching mustache. Uh, <laughs> oh my, I think I'm in love. My love of butlers was unbeknownst to me until this very moment. In retrospect, that's probably a good thing. Otherwise, maybe I would have ended up owning a butler cafe. Which, now that I think about it, it's that bad, actually. But I digress. The point being, this butler has stolen my heart and served it up on a silver platter. Hello, butler friend. Will you marry me? That's what I said to Lemonsy earlier today. Is it not butler friend? I just said, hey, marry me. <laughs> Please? Ari, it's me. Huh? How does Mystery Butler know my name? Do I have a stalker who's also a butler? What if we work together? Uh huh? Did Francine hire someone and not tell me about it? How long have Gavin, Naomi, and Ashley? <laughs> Took you long enough, jeez. <laughs> the confused look on your face, ha! Huh? Priceless. Have you never seen Ashley's crossplay before? Possibly, probably not. Let's crossplay. It's when you cosplay as another gender. Oh, okay, Ashley, seriously, you look completely different. I didn't even recognize you. Oh, I know. I'm sorry I let you think otherwise for a minute, but it was all in good fun. No worries, it's pretty impressive work. Oh, it's not impressive at all. I mean, I could have I done a much better job at sewing the coattails, and I needed to be like five inches taller, and I didn't go to the gym enough before this. Don't you even, girlfriend. You can't change any of that now, and honestly, it looks fine. Regardless, the cosplay parade is starting soon, and I need to get over there. You should come with me. Hey now, Ari was going with me to the Showtime stage gathering. Well, whatever Ari wants to do, it's her choice. That's fair. Either way, it'd be a great opportunity to promote Funplex Funtime to one crowd or another. 
So would you like to come with me to the cosplay parade? Or join me in the flash mob? Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to go with Ashley. I like Teo, but I like Ashley better. But I feel bad because I sort of was saying that I was going to go with Teo. And now I'm like, just kidding. Meh. Follow the sexy butler. That's a very good life decision choice. You're right. Go with Ashley. Huzzah! This way! Now I have to do her voice more, though. Oh, crap. Ash, obviously. Okay, you guys, you guys are, you guys are all, you're all, we're all on the same page. Ashley led the way as we weave through the people in the crowd. We traveled through the largest exhibit hall to get to the cosplay gathering. Ashley had mentioned it was in the Pac-Man theater, which meant risking our lives to the mostly den most densely packed hall of the entire con. There wasn't even room to breathe, and I thought the main hall was bad, but this was a thousand times worse. At one point, they announced that the, sh the show floor had just opened up and a huge rush of people came straight for us. It gave me flashbacks to the one time I worked shoe shop retail over the holidays. The horror. The horror! The gamer stampede came straight toward us, wild eyes and groping hands. I thought for sure I was going to get trampled to death. But at the last second, Ashley pulled me to safety. Oh! Butlers tend to be murderers in the end, only if you deserve it. You gotta be more careful, Ari. Don't lose sight of me. Okay. She points her eye to her eyes and then back to mine. Our eyes now locked forever in a mystical eye-locking spell. Eventually, after several more attempts on my life, through various death by copious amounts of people, we made our way to the Pac-Man TM Theater. The theater was huge, capable of packing in several hundred people. Most of those seats were already taken, too, and people were milling around the auditorium aisles. My floor attendant senses detected this as a fire hazard, but... A huge stage had been set up in front of us where normally there'd be a table for the speakers, like in a panel discussion forum. Since the theater is so large, they place projector screens on either side of the stage, so whatever is happening can be seen by those sitting in the back row. It's safe to assume that this is one of the auditoriums saved for the more popular panels. And now, the... Cosplay parade? Uh, Ashley, what exactly is a cosplay parade? I'm so glad you asked, Ari! It's where all the cosplayers get together, line up, and show off their latest creations for the masses on this theater stage up front there. Now that I think about it, kind of self-explanatory, right? You're right. I guess it wasn't my most intellectual moment. How are you to know, anyway? It's not like you've been one to one before. Sometimes they even give prizes to the best cosplayers, but this one is pretty chill. No prizes? Not even a shiny plastic cup to heft over your head? Ha, uh, maybe one day. Today we are here to appreciate each other's talents and have fun. Look at her laugh. <laughs> Before I can interject again, Ashley runs over to a person dressed as a maid. It looks very uniform to Ashley's butler cosplay. Maybe they're from the same game? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I absolutely adore your Mia from Melee Maidens. It's totally cute and your sword, incredible. Thank you. I made it from Starcraft Bone and Warbla. It only took like 30 hours to do it. That's so professional looking. Dang. And I can't get over how dapper your Angus is. The details you put into his pocket watch are phenomenal. I actually found the watch at a thrift shop and then just molded the extra embellishments on with clay. This went on for some time. I felt it would be rude to interrupt Ashley when she's obviously having so much fun being a part of her community. As I continued to chat about making costumes, I noted that more and more cosplayers were filling into the theater. Aveline could be the main protagonist of Melee Minions? Yeah, she could. Uh, did I just miss something? I may have just accidentally clicked through something. For once in my life, I actually felt uncomfortable wearing my usual comfiest head hoodie. I felt underdressed compared to all the Melee Maidens cosplayers. Seriously, was this a costume ball or a black tie gala? Not even mentioning the congregation of feathers, capes, prop weapons, and wings. For all the visual craziness, the vibe remained pretty chill and friendly. Just folks sharing a common joy and dressing up as someone else. I love to cosplay. Still salty you get, Romancer, but she gets her own. Aveline is her own woman and finds her own man who is absolutely perfect for her, and they have such dumb conversations. Which Dragon Age 2 turned? Ah, uh, 10? Or something the other day? And so happy, like, it was like right after Mass Effect, turn, Mass Effect 3 turned 7, so it was like, I was like, wow, birthday's all over the place. Eventually, Ashley, party, Ashley parted from her conversation to check on me. Sorry, Ari, sometimes I get so swept up in it all. 
I get it. Back at the Funplex, you mentioned that you can only see some of your friends here at these cosplay events. Oh yeah, cosplayers travel all over, more than other gaming communities, I bet. Do you know everyone here? Oh no, I mean, I know a good amount of people here, but everyone? Nah. It sure seems like you do. I've seen at least 30 people come up and compliment your butler. Hey, nice Angus! Love the tailcoat! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you. See? There. See? See what I mean? Honestly, I'm impressed that you're so comfortable in your cosplay. You've never struck me as this outgoing and popular at work. That seems kind of rude. Hey, just because I have professional demeanor at work does not mean I'm not outgoing. I didn't mean it as a bad thing. It's just not something I've seen from you. Not to this extent. Well, get used to it, Aerie, because I've decided we are having a cosplay contest at Funplex Buck Time. And I'm gonna win. What's this? Competitive Ashley? You've been taking notes from Queen Bee, haven't you? <laughs> what? Don't tell me you saw us practicing in the bathroom the other day. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I didn't. But now I can't get that image out of my mind. <laughs> we ladies gotta stick together. Ladies helping ladies. Oh yeah. Am I right? So right. Our chuckles were interrupted by one of the max attendants. If you are participating in the cosplay parade, I need you to gather in the backstage green room. I repeat, all cosplayers proceed to the green room. Judge Rando, I think that was the name. Uh, Tobias, you're off for the night. Yes, thank you. We will have. We would just. We're gonna. We're gonna just have a fantastic fun flex fun time. I really, or funk funk time. I can't even. I can't even talk. Just gals be your pals. You know how it is. <laughs> just gals be your pals. Like a slow herd of bright colored sheep, Ashley and I moved into the next room to join the rest of the cosplayers. Why am I in there? When we get to the front of the line, the attendant stopped me dead in my tracks. Cosplayers only, no handlers, unless you are visibly holding up something. Handlers? Oh, hey, Ari? <gasps> Ashley tilts her head as if to sig me signal me to step aside. Excuse us, we'll be right back. If you want to be part of the parade, you have to be back here in the next 20 minutes. I stepped out of line and sat next to Ashley, who was digging through her bag. I was hoping it wasn't going to come to this, but I feel like this is our only option. Ashley pulls out a surprisingly fancy and elegant maid outfit and then hands it to me. I need you to wear this. Oh, uh, oh, wait, you just happen to have this? This is all too convenient that Ashley has a maid cosplay just tucked away, roughly in my size, prepared for something like this. Oh, I'm on to you. <laughs> what do you mean? First of all, why exactly do I need to wear this? Secondly, you planned for this, didn't you? And lastly, you just want to see me in a maid outfit. <laughs> One, you need to wear this to get on stage as part of the cosplay parade. A moment in the spotlight would help you spread word about Funflex Funk Time, right? Where better than in the biggest auditorium at Max? Two, I did plan for this. Sometimes handlers aren't allowed on stage with their cosplayers and I need to get you, Ashley pointed to me, and then to the theater stage. On there. Three, yes, duh. But I'm nope. not gonna force you if you don't if you to do something you don't wanna do. If you don't wanna take the spotlight with me, don't worry. I'll still help promote the event. It's totally up to you, okay? And no hard feelings, either way. Well, hmm. This would be a terrific opportunity for, to promote my event. Is it a bit uh, is it a bit of personal embarrassment for the price I pay? Or should I just leave that to her? Oh, I hope this is the right decision and I don't make a fool out of myself and people don't take my event seriously. I guess I don't mind wearing the costume. I can't say I'm totally thrilled, but well, why not? I'm willing to do it to help get the word out. Count me in. Great, trust me, this will be tons of fun. It's also about presence as a cosplayer, and I have zero presence. We made our way to the nearest bathrooms, and I changed into the maid outfit. I struggled to figure out all the classes and what Velcros to what, but Ashley took the time to help me get situated. I hope we're in time. Uh, once we were done, we headed backstage, which I'd say resembled the Funplex break room, but hey, same purpose, same function. And it's only like mirror, it's, just, it's like mirror image, it's fine. Here, the cosplayers lie in wait for the big show to start, including one particular butler and a newly minted maid. <laughs> Squee! I just said that out loud. You look so cute! I wish I looked half as cute as you doing this. But seriously, you're going to have to do this with me more often. You make a perfect Alice. Alice? Right, I forget you know nothing about melee maidens. 
Alice is the head maid of the Neko Manor. I can't manor? Oh boy. Oh, oh, okay. So, Angus, that's me, and Alice, that's you, are siblings fighting alongside each other to prevent other maids and butlers from taking over their estate. They fight for Lady Nice. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot! Ashley pulls out more costume stuff from her pack. This time, it's this, I knew it! It's just in a cat ears with a tail! She said Neko Manor, and I got really nervous. Alice is a cat girl. What? But you don't have cat ears, and I thought they were siblings. Shh, spoilers. You don't find that out that they are siblings until after you beat Angus's story arc. When the game starts, Angus has amnesia, and after you win, Alice appears and tells you everything. Angus's power is unleashed, and he becomes his old cat boy self. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know, I wish we could see the maid outfit. I don't think we will, but it's probably super, super hilarious. Uh, it also unlocks an extra skin you can play with, but now we've gotten very far off track. Satisfied? Any more questions? I think that covers it. Ashley fastens the cattail of the back of the maid on the back of the maid dress and places the headband on my head. With the costume finalized, I take a long, hard look at the mirror. Oh my God! <laughs> big beefy woman I'm not beefy I'm just really tall oh my gosh lemon Z, are you happy are you are you happy lemon Z? we now we're not in the hoodie we're in something else <laughs> it's so awesome oh, where's the tail we don't get to see the tail it's on the back where tails belong and, okay, it's not half bad. It's definitely not me. But I can live with this. Oh, good. Katie and Steph are here. Who? They're a couple of my good cosplay friends, and they are way more talented than me, even. And they just so happen to be the MCs for the cosplay parade. Ashley waves over to them, and they smile, waving back. I talked with them earlier after the parade that let us come up on stage and talk about Funplex Funk Time. Whoa, really? Really? Thank you so much, Ashley. That'll help a ton. Yeah, it helps to know people sometimes. We found a few other cosplayers who dressed up as other Melee Maidens characters, and we all formed up into a group. Even though we were together, Ashley and I kept to ourselves safe for pleasantries. As we chatted away, the Max attendant came back to give us a final warning before we went on stage. This pleases you all good. Looks like the... the... from Gintama? I have never seen Gintama. Everyone listen up. We got 10 minutes before the parade. Make sure you're all ready to go. I think I'm experiencing performance anxiety. My heart rate's increased and I feel flushed. This pressure to look perfect is too much. Ashley, do I look okay? Are my ears on straight? What about the tail? You look fine, trust me. She's laughing, she's so adorable. Amazing. You're the best cat girl I've made I've ever seen. I bet you say that to all your cosplay friends. I don't. Honest. Well, I think that your, what did you call it, crossplay? It's fantastic. Why did you choose to crossplay as Angus anyway? I would have expected you to become, to be one of the other fancy maids. I crossplay because that's what makes me feel most comfortable. Nice. At first, I dressed as various boys because I adored those characters I might so cry. Much, I might you know? cry in a second. The more I did it, the more I had fun I'm gonna with cry. It. The more I began to feel like me. And then I wanted to do it more and more. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what that means in relation to who I am, and that's the confusing part. But I guess that's all part of the journey about finding out more about myself. Hell yeah, girl. Boy, whatever you want to be. I know it's hard to understand, but just know that I'm working on being happy. I just myself. want you to be happy! Ah! Uh, no, I, oh uh, my gosh, this is so nice. And 
one day, I'll be able to put words into what I'm feeling. But until then, how I'm actually I? like sort of tearing up. I'm trying hard not to. I have a friend who's been uh, transitioning slowly, and she is just like she'll talk to me about it sometimes, and she's just like, you know, I feel so much more happier now like before she's like i was always miserable and i'm still anxious about things she's like but the more i i come out as myself to like my, my friends one by one and everything she's like i just feel so much happier she hates going back home where she has to be like like what she was before and it's like it, and it's like she just she's just so much happier and like it's still a process right but like she's so much happier being who she actually is and i'm just like okay actually i'm just gonna give you a hug in the pie i'm here for you i'm gonna cry i see i hope i didn't pressure you into oversharing just now i wouldn't have shared it if i didn't feel comfortable with you I'm gonna cry. i mean this with all my heart you are a cherished Oh my friend. gosh, the fact that she's voicing that is like, oh my gosh, like she sounds so sincere. Well, gosh, thanks, Ashley. I really appreciate the trust you put in me. I won't let you down. Fighting! Cosplayers, the time is nigh. Once again, the attendants started barking orders at us. We all shuffled into another line like how we were told to do earlier and slowly we all began filing out of the room. The closer we got to the stage doors, the more I feel the nerves creep in. We're next! Ugh, I can't do her voice, it's so high pitched. Melee Maidens Group, go! Now! Ashley looks over at me, just beaming. This is her life, her everything. Oh my god! Take a deep breath, Ari! I close my eyes, taking in as much air as I can. I hold it in for a long moment before exhaling. I open my eyes slowly and take a step on into the Pac-Man Theater and onto the stage. I gotta do Ashley proud! I'm following Ashley, who is following the rest of the Maiden Butler crew. Once all of us are on stage, the MCs announce us as the Melee Maidens group. As I look out in front of us, I can see a completely packed theater. It's hard to make out specific faces due to the stage lights, but I can see the outlines of hundreds of people. A rush of adrenaline surges through my body, and I look over to Ashley. <laughs> a proper butler, she takes each step with purpose and elegance. She isn't breaking character for anything. Not all the cheers in the audience, not the people, not all the people smiling and laughing around her. She is Angus and she's owning it. The announcers ask us to strike a pose on three, two, one. Uh, 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 fighting pose or coy flirting? I mean, I'm a fighting, she's a fighting person, but she's being like super proper. She's not being like, She's not being a fighting person. I'm gonna do a coy flirting. I lean over, hand on my hip, whilst giving a coy expression and a wink to the audience. We finish holding our poses long enough for everyone in the audience to get a good amount of pictures of us. I maybe should have done the fighting pose. I maybe should have done the fighting pose now that I think about it. Oh crap, I hope this is good PR. Oh crap. My eyes slowly adjust back to normal from all the flashes and we are ushered off the stage by the MCs to return to the backstage area. It's getting warm and cramped back here, but luckily we were towards the end of the cosplay parade. Following us is a huge Street Fighter group, and lastly, someone in a mascot of Moopy himself. In mascot cosplay, Moopy himself. I can't wait to tell Percy about that. He's going to be thrilled. How are you enjoying this? It's going better than I could have expected. Over the mics, we hear the announcers tell us that they have a special announcement for all the cosplay fans. <laughs> I actually just got anxiety. I actually, I didn't get anxiety going out the first time, but now I have anxiety going out and like my video game character has to go out and talk on stage and I'm like, Bleh! Ashley winks at me and nudges me in the arm. That's our cue. They want Angus and Alice to join them on stage. It's now or never. Let's do this. <laughs> we shuffle back on stage and the audience starts clapping and cheering wildly. We pose once again, handing it, hamming it up in front of everyone, and before Ashley takes the mic. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It means so much to us that you would join my sister Alice and I here at Neko Manor. As you know, we adore organizing exorbitant galas at Lady Nice's estate. However, Alice and I are planning a very extravagant event at a very extravagant location. Go on, Alice. Tell them everything. Ashley hands the mic to me. Watching her never break character has inspired me to play along, too. That's right, Angus. Next weekend, we'll be hosting a costume contest at Francine's Arcade Complex at the Twin Pines Mall. 
It's all part of the Funplex Funk Time, along with a Fist of Discomfort tournament, a world record attempt on Moopy's Magical Maze, and the reveal of a rare and mysterious game. Oh my! First time the public will have seen it? You know it, brother! I should, I should maybe, I don't know, I, I don't know if Ashley's doing a deeper voice for this. It's cool, a lot of people do drag and cosplay, put on character, but that's what helps them find themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah! And Ashley is a good name because it does, it works for dude or girl. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I learned that when I read um, Gone with the Wind when I was in like seventh grade and that Ashley was originally a man's name. I was like, oh, I don't know that. This isn't the event to miss. It will be the most noteworthy event of the season. And remember, this is a private affair, so please only tell your closest friends. I feel like she'd have a deeper voice here, so my bad. Ashley winks to the audience before bowing. Like, she's, if she's in character, then she probably has a deeper voice. Another rush of cheers fills the theater as we walk off stage for a second time. The MCs give their closing words and dismiss the audience. As people begin exiting the auditorium, I feel my phone vibrate in my hidden dress pocket. Yes, hidden dress pocket! At first, it was just a couple vibrations, but before I could realize what was happening, my phone starts seizing. Uh-oh, is it gonna burst into flames again? What the? I pulled my phone, oh, from my pocket and saw that the phone plugs face wall had over 1,000 shiny new lights. No, really, what the heck? The, hey, the cosplay listen. parade is a huge part of every Max and generates thousands of photos and articles online. Also, it was being live streamed. Ashley, you failed to mention that part. Well, you seem so nervous and I didn't want to make it worse. And that act you pulled up just now has generated a 700% increase of traffic on our site. I also gobbled up some paid keywords, so if anyone posts about cosplay at Max, they will see an ad for Funplex Fun Time. Pretty genius, right? I am so lucky to have this usual thingamajig uh, AI person. You know more male ashes than female? Really? I said heck. I don't know. I'm, I'm a good kid. I'm a good kid. Quickly, I scanned my own face wall, and even people I knew who weren't arcaders were talking up a storm about it. I also could hear cosplayers discussing it as we waited for the auditorium to clear out. But this is so exciting! I can't wait till next weekend. That Funplex Funk Time thing sounds like a blast. I am totally going to the Funplex place. Hmm, do I want to wear my next cosplay there? Ari, we did it! I had lots of help from you too, Ashley. Don't count yourself out. We make a pretty great team. It was great to hear all the buzz around the cosplay community, and Iris really helped with the social media aspect. You want an Iris? Oh my gosh, so do I. I can't believe it was that easy. I mean, tiring, but easy. That was great fun and all, but I'm completely exhausted. Me too. I need a break from all this, some time to collect my thoughts and rest my eyes from all those flashing lights. I'm still seeing spots. You hear that Gavin and Naomi are running a pop-up arcade for the Funplex? A bunch of other local arcades are doing the same, over in Hall B. It might be worth stopping by there for a breather with some friends. And make sure they aren't slacking. That sounds like a solid plan. You want to come with me? Not quite yet. I need to do some touch-ups on my makeup. How about I meet you there later? Great, see you soon. Oh my gosh! You want Edie? Edie would be nice too. Edie would help me take over the world. I wave bye to Ashley as I make my way towards the restrooms to get changed back into my usual clothes for the time being. Oh, come on. I'm not going to walk around in the maid outfit. Come on. Come on. Let me make sure I haven't received anything. Okay. And then it's off to exhibit Hall B on the lookout for Gavin's serious face or Naomi's kind one. Legion also. Ooh, made outfit for life! Why can't I wear the made outfit for the whole game? I wonder if they could do like a uh, like a save game plus, or like if you've unlocked the made the made outfit, you could like get it at the beginning of the game and, and just wear the made outfit the whole time. That would be pretty cool. Like a little save game plus thing for your next like for like going back and romancing other people. Ooh, or a Sam. A Sam would be good as well. Grammy, good good choice. Good choice. Lots of good AI to choose from. Let's see, Exhibit Hall B. It very much resembles Exhibit Hall A, where I started my day. Industry tapes, dealers, swag, crowds, crowds. But there's definitely more actual arcade games here, as local places have set up pop-up arcades all over the place. It's hard to notice the smaller displays of the giant garish deco palace display eating up the center, but I managed to qual, 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 it's okay, that's fine, I can speak English, to crawl my way around the edges to find. Oh, oh boy, oh no, okay. 
Well now, pretty much everybody else in the crew, save for Francine. This, she looks worried, which is troubling. She looks like she might be upset, and he looks like he's concentrating, and he looks like he's concentrating. Teo and Ashley are still off hanging out with their respective communities. I've got some time. Maybe I can bend someone's ear, meanwhile. Let's see, what are, what's everybody doing right now? Gavin's reading the news, brought up his mind, and was fixing up Busta Galaga, she could use a break. Percy's idly playing a round of Nibbler. Queen Bee looks oddly agitated, like worried agitated. Oh, I know, see the thing is, like this is supposed to be like who you want to hang out with, but like, like in like, I don't know, to like get romance points with, but at the same time, I'm like, I would probably legitimately go talk to Queen Bee, because if she looks worried, like, I'd be like, oh, hey, are you okay? Or Naomi, if Naomi needs a break, like, I don't know. I don't know. She'll be fine even if doctor. Okay. <laughs> I can. I want these pixels to like me. I want them to like me, and I want them to be happy. <laughs> okay. Maybe I will talk to Naomi. Naomi looks totally frustrated with the monitor chassis for her game partially removed so she can tinker with it. Hmm. There's definitely net glow, so the net can't be cracked. Why am I getting nothing at all? Uh, hey, Naomi. Oh, Ari! <laughs> Sorry, I was wrapped up in my own little world there. What's up? I don't have a voice for her anymore. Blah. I'm taking a break, and as of now, you are on break as well. That's sweet, but I really can't. You're getting nowhere with that game. Take a break. Consider it in order. That's gonna go over well. I, I guess I'm on break then. Cool, cool. You wanna get away from the crowd for a bit? We're so much more confident now. Find a quiet corner and hang out, decompress a bit. Absolutely. Ugh. I can busy myself with the games, but uh, I hate the crowds. Always have. Every year I go to Max. Naomi reaches out and grabs my hand before he can object and drags us off to a sunny cloud. A little niche between two cosplays and his papers. <laughs> Good for a private conversation. She grabbed my hand! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Okay, no broken games, no chattering strangers. Good. Honestly, I love my retro games, but I wish they break down less often. All this 1980 tech is fun to play with, except when downtime has lost profits. Okay, so I gotta know, why the fixation on retro games? I'm not saying they aren't cool. It's just not something you folks our age are usually into, right? Lies! I'd contest that with post yeah. 20 somethings on classic game collector sites. But, you're really asking why... I, I love her voice so much. And hey, what's not to love? The cool glow of a cathode ray tube, blooming color through the scan lines, the simple and clean pixel art style. It's a little bit nasally. Uh, throaty? Throaty. Kind of throaty and nasally. Yeah, but like, I don't know, like fuzzy, like, I, I kind of think I know what you're saying, but I think throaty. Throaty, kind of throaty fuzzy. I think I know what you're saying. One stick, a few buttons, easy to learn, hard to master. You can keep your crazy networked real-time strategy beat-em-up esports fighters thingies. Give me a maze or a spaceship or a bunch of dots any day. Or a princess to rescue and turtles to jump on. Right, well, more than jumping, more jumping than rescuing. Although I do like the princess rescuing the prince and wyvern keep. Good pick, Ari. I, how do I freaking... Well, more of the jumping than the rescuing. Although I do like the princess rescuing the prince and the wyvern keep. Good pick, Ari. Weren't you pulling for me to pick Freys and Vaders? Well, yeah, but I can dig wyverns keep too. So how'd you get started with retro games? Well, I know the cliche answer is, I had an older brother who introduced me to games, but that's basically the truth. Sort of, indirectly, I guess. For a whole summer, my jerk of a brother was in charge of babysitting me. And being a teenager, he didn't want to bother. He wanted to go to the arcade and hang with his friends. So he dragged little old me with him to the arcade, gave me a fistful of tokens, and told me to go keep myself busy. At first I played, oh, I can't do it anymore. At first, I played what all kids play, ticket games, prize games, but I got bored with it fast, realizing I wasn't winning much of anything. Honestly, kids are smart, right? They gotta realize they're being scammed. Uh... Well, when you really want a toy with all your heart... Don't be so hard on kids. I've worked the floor for weeks. I've seen how fixated a kid can get on some high-ticket plushie. When you've made up your mind and already spent piles of tokens, well, you gotta keep going. Otherwise, you have to admit it wasn't worth it. 
Yeah, it's cruel, the sunk cost fallacy. I wish I could just give those kids the toys they want, or I don't know, sell it. But no way Gavin would allow that. Plus, well, there was one other problem with the ticket game area. Too many kids. Just way too many kids I didn't know from schools I didn't go to. I was too timid to ask someone to leave a game I wanted to play, or even hover around them, worried they might talk to me. I'm, I'm really not good with strangers. Huge crowds of them. I'm going to hold her in a big hug, and we're going to run off into the sunset. Once I got to know someone, well, they're not a stranger. That's different. Like you, I got to know you quickly enough. Considering she gave me her lunch on day one, quickly indeed. But there was one area of the arcade which had next to nobody playing games, where I didn't need to put a quarter up and wait in line, where everything was fun. Retro games. Exactly. Only a few older guys back there. I could play anything I wanted. Every game was a single token, and it was all so amazingly cool and flashy and colorful and... Oh, it was paradise. Those games were my new best friend. Now I looked forward to my jerk of a brother abandoning me in the arcade to go off to go play fighting games. Eventually, summer vacation ended and it was back to school, but I kept visiting arcades, especially ones with good retro collections. So that's how I got into classic arcade games. Mm. Oh, jeez. And that's how you caught Pac-Man fever. The only prescription is more Pac-Man. Somebody call a doctor! The girl's got Pac-Man fever! Sadly, it's an incurable condition. Oh, I bought that album! Buckner and Garcia! <laughs> Amazing stuff! It's got all sorts of songs on about it. Donkey Kong, Centipede, Frogger. You can borrow my copy if you want. I've got it on vinyl and tape. Uh, I lack any hardware whatsoever which can play those. Really? But vinyl is so much better than MP3. I have a vinyl. I, ha well, I, have, I have a record player with some vinyls, but not many. Ladies and gentlemen, Naomi Fairchild, the hipster who could fit in your pocket. Oh my gosh, that's perfect! It's perfect! <laughs> I know it's a little weird for me not to be interested in newer games, and I felt like new games are universally awful, but I like what I like. I love what I love. I do what I love for a living. How cool is that? As long as the fun flick stays open and keeps this retro spirit bright, I'll be happy. Well, event manager Ari will see to it that we keep our doors open. That's why I'm here at Max, to make this event the big deal it deserves to be. Thanks so much for that. I'm no good at the meet and greet stuff. I think we should both get back to what we do best, for the glory of the fun flex. For the glory of the funplex! Uh, the street must make her way back to the mini funplex. Her resume tink her, her to resume tinkering made it catch up with Teo and Ashley again. How did it go, Teo? My current status? Sitting. And enjoying it. It took a few minutes of searching and stalking, but eventually I found an open seat in the pop-up arcade. While the sit is satisfying, the rest of everything else is miserable. My feet are sore from walking all over, and I don't remember the last time I ate. I feel dehydrated, and I have a slight headache from all the noise. And there are still four more hours of Max left. Oh, if Gavin saw me in my current state, leaning back, arms at my side, completely exhausted. I can picture it clearly. He'd be looming over me with his dark, unfettered eyes. He would lean close in and frown. Grumbling, he'd say, Ari, he's probably doing this right now. Ari, may I remind you, these seats are for patrons only. I audibly sighed just thinking about it. As luck would have it, though, Gavin... Oh, he's not. <laughs> Gavin and Naomi are huddled over the Galaga cabinet trying to figure out why the monitor's not working. Freedom. My buns are experiencing the best freedom has to offer. And when my body feels like it could collapse at any moment, I feel good about it. Right. Getting the word out about Funplex Fun Time was great. Seeing people's faces light up with excitement is why I'm really here. Plus, spending time with Ashley was an added bonus. Ching, 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 ching. She certainly got passion to spare. I smiled to myself. The pain in my heels and the grumbling in my tummy. Worth it. While enjoying the respite, I let my eyes close for a moment. And of course, the second I do that, I hear footfalls closing in. Eh! Okay. There you are, Ari! We've been looking all over for you. But we were specifically going to meet back up here at the Funplex Pop-Up Arcade. Yes, we didn't expect you to be tucked in the darkest corner of the arcade. I'm hiding from Gavin. He'll put me to work if he sees me. Ah. Hiding behind the pinball machines is probably not the smartest choice then. You know how much he loves pinball. Every spare moment he thinks no one is watching him is spent getting that high score. I have so many candid pictures of him on my phone of him playing pinball. You have to show me. Like, right now. Yes! His concentration face is so cute! 
Before I can even react, Ashley has her phone out and is scrolling through pictures of Gavin. Ahem. <laughs> Both look up at me guiltily. Don't we have more important matters? Max is over in a few hours and we will have a lot of work left to do. You're right, Ari. Please don't tell Gavin. Your secret is safe with me. Right, so, business time. I think I got something. Go on. I have a friend, and she's an indie arcade developer. The new title she's been working on is amazing. It's got co-op, it's got competition. It's got magical schoolgirls. Now you're talking. It's got it all. Wait, I'm pretty sure I've heard of this game. It's called, is it called Magical Moon Cuties? Yeah, that's the one, and she's thinking about premiering it at Funplex Funk Time. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Oh, yeah, my, oh gosh. my gosh, that would be cooler than cool! It sounds interesting enough. Might make for another fun game for people to play. But do you really think people would come to play a game no one has ever heard of? Actually, the game's been in development for a few years now, and has a pretty big following already. My friend is somewhat known in the indie scene. I'm sure it would create some buzz at least. Are you kidding, Teo? We'd be the talk of the arcade world! I do like being the talk of world-sized things. Let's go check it out. I stand up, invigorated by this news. As I start walking back towards the hall with Teo, I hear a call from behind me. Wait! I turn around and see Ashley standing there, fidgeting. Her green eyes are darting back and forth nervously. Ashley? I too have a plan. She motions for us to come back towards her, which we do. Huh? What's your idea, Ashley? She puts an arm around Teo and the other one around me, huddling the three of us together. So what I am proposing might not be the most legal course of action. This doesn't sound good! Uh, do I even want to know? You have, you've seen the huge monitors hanging from the ceiling in the middle of all the major halls, right? How could I miss them? They're constantly bombarding us with ads and false hopes of high quality convention food. No matter how amazingly tempting that $9 hot dog looks on the big screen, don't even think about it. You, if you're dying! Exactly my point. Everyone is looking at it. I know a way to sneak into the back area. All we have to do is break into the main communi communication center and upload the flyer Ari made into the rotation. You want to do what? Shh, keep your voice down, Tail. Unless you want to get arrested for being an accomplice. It's a genius plan. Everyone at the max will see our name in lights. Okay, so yeah, that's a less than legal way of getting the word out. But I have to admit, you've got me intrigued. And it definitely worked. But I don't know. Trust me. Of course we need to go in disguise. I'm already nicely disguised. But Ari would need to switch, switch into something way more distracting. Why more distracting, exactly? Why would you be in a convention hall if you were dying of starvation? Yeah, I mean, you could always go outside and get food, too, if you wanted to. To distract from your face, of course. What I'm trying to say is people will remember the costume, not the person wearing it. Which means... Made Ari rides again! I knew it. Come on, you did so great on stage. Think of this as your encore. How about it? Let's not forget about Magical Moon Cuties. It's a valid alternative. Both options are valid, honestly. Spashy advertising would certainly drive foot traffic, even if getting it up there would be dodgy. Importantly, Iris could help us do it safely without anyone noticing. Safer than Ashley going off on her own to try this inadvisable stunt. Crap. But a highly anticipated indie title might do the trick and result, result, result in far less jail time. I personally... Even though I'd rather hang out with Ashley again, I would rather do it Tails way because not only would this help us like getting like an indie dev's followers, it also helps the indie developer. So like it's like a it's like a a symbiotic relationship, right? Where it's like supporting another organization that would support us as well. Um, but you can Ashley, fetch my maid up, but it's heist time. This could be really fun, but it could also get us into big trouble. Okay, friends, I actually have to call it here, unfortunately. Well, it looks like that IRL pause needing to leave worked out really great post-production-wise, so thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it, especially since, since this one was a little bit long. I do appreciate you getting through it, and I hope to see you in the next one.